If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning, Davao Mindanao North, and South, East, and West. This is your newscaster, Elijah Hill Cacho. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, the weather forecast, tropical cyclone of fell brings rains and gusty winds to Batanes and Babuyan Islands today. Its trough causes scattered rains and thunderstorms in Ilocos Norte, while the rest of the country sees partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers. Local news. Sarah Box Fathers at House Hearing. New Corelia, Mayor imposes curfew amid shooting. Conservation efforts for the Philippine fruit bats. Power rates at 66 pesos per kilowatt per hour. National news. 11 cops dismiss over moonlighting. Cebu City workers to get 25,000 uh, pesos bonus. International news. Trump's transition team caught off guard by Higseth allegation. Trump's name campaigned spokespeople to top White House communication rules. Entertainment news. From Christmas content to crime thriller. Here's what to watch this weekend. Hugh Grant thinks his uh, Notting Hill character was despicable. Sports news, Philadelphia Eagles pull away in the fourth to defeat Washington Commanders, extend win streak to six. Mike Tyson returns to professional boxing at 19 years after his last bout. There are some neurolo neurological concerns for the 58-year-old. Featured stories, vibrant paroles light up the season in San Fernando. New York hosts a record-breaking marathon. Trivia. The Philippines has over 7,641 islands. Weather forecast. The national weather forecast uh, will have tropical cyclone Ophel will bring rains and gusty winds to Batanes and Babuyan Islands. Its uh, trot will cause scattered rings and isolated thunderstorms in Ilocos Norte. The rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, mostly in the afternoon or evening. In local weather forecast, Davao City will have partly cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms, especially in the late afternoon or evening. Temperatures will range from 25 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. Just remember, if you're heading out, bring an umbrella or raincoat, especially in the northern Luzon and areas prone to thunderstorms. Avoid outdoor activities during the heavy rains and prevent accidents or exposed to lighting. Monitor updates for weather changes. Local news, Sarah Bach's father at house hearing. 
Vice President Sara Duterte made a surprise visit to a house hearing on November 13, supporting her father, former President Rodrigo Duterte, amid allegation of a human rights violation during his war on drugs. Hupong sa taong lungsod emphasized her presence as a show of solidarity, defending his leadership for prioritizing public safety. During the hearing, Duterte denied evidence linking Michael Young, his former economic advisor, to the drug trade. Vowing personal action is proof emerges. He urged the International Criminal Court to expedite its investigation into his administration's drug war, stating he would accept accountability if proven guilty. New Corelia mayor imposes curfew amid shooting. The municipal government of New Corelia, Davo del Norte, has enforced a strict curfew from 10 p.m. to 4 p.m. following a series of fatal shootings. Mayor Monet Federeso signed Executive Order No. 32 to enhance public safety, with checkpoints now active across the town. The curfew comes from four shootings, including the recent death of a man known as Alias Toto on November 13. Police investigations are ongoing and Mayor Federeso has met with security forces to strengthen operations. Residents are urged to comply with the curfew and pray for peace as authorities work to restore order. Conservation efforts for the Philippine fruit bats. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources in Sox Sargent is closely monitoring approximately 3,000 Philippine fruit bats or large flying foxes in Kulaman Valley, Arakan, and Kidapawan City. Recent assessments show the significant population's decline attributed to hunting and habitat losses. Large flying fox classified as endangered weight between 0.65 to 1.1 kilogram and has a wingspan up to 1.5 meters. DENR12 is stepping up conservation efforts to protect this vital po po pollinators and seed dispersers crucial to forest regeneration. Their preservation benefits local communities and bro broader ecosystem ensuring survival of many species. Power rates at 66 centavos per kilowatt per hour. Devil's, Devil Light and Power Co. Incorporated has raised its household power rate from 8.44 pesos per kilowatt per hour in October to 9.11 pesos uh, kilowatt per hour in November. A 0.66 centavos in peso increases this hike is due to the higher power supply costs from the Philippine wholesale electricity spot market in Mindanao. Davao Light cautioned the rate changes are expected monthly due to the market volatility. To manage the electricity bills, the company advised consumers to monitor their energy use. With the holiday season approaching, Davao Light recommend using non-electric decorations and solar power solar-powered and battery-operated lights to control costs during higher demand periods. National News 11 cops dismiss over moon lighting. Philippine National Police Chief General Romel Marbil has ordered the, the dismissal of 11 Special Action Force personnel involved in providing unauthorized escort services to Chinese national. The officers were found guilty to grave misconduct and dishonesty after an intern investigation. Among those dismissed are Police Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Bugsao and Police Executive Master Sergeant Aaron Torano. One officer, Police Captain Mark Victor Pineda, was suspended for 31 days. Marbil emphasized that the misconduct and the dishonesty will not be tolerated within the PNP 
and vowed to uphold the highest standards of the professionalism and accountability. Cebu City workers to get 25,000 pesos bonus. The Cebu City Council has approved a 322.8 million pesos supplementary budget to fund salary increase and cash incentives for City Hall employees and barangay workers. The budget includes a 25,000 pesos cash incentives for city employees, cash assistance for barangay workers, and the first cheche of salary increases mandate by Malacanang. The salary hikes are part of Executive Order 64, which calls for gradual wage increase for government workers until 2027. The budget also allocates 33.46 million pesos for barangay workers, assistance, and 20.81 million pesos for job order personal incentives. The decision aims to align with national standards for government employee bonuses. International news, Trump's transition team caught off guard by Hegseth allegation. President-elect Donald Trump's nomination of Pete Hegseth as Secretary of Defense faces controversy after a sexual assault allegation surfaced. The alleged incident occurred in October 2017 during a California Federation of Republican Women conference. Hegseth, a Fox News host and a veteran, denied wrongdoing and no charges or lawsuit have been filed. However, questions about his selection have grown, given minimal bidding before the announcements. Incoming Chief of Staff Susie Wiles questioned Hegseth about any unclosed, undisclosed issues. Despite concerns from Trump's team and allies, Trump's communication director defended Hegseth, affirming confidence in the ability to lead the Department of Defense. Trump's name campaign spokespeople to, uh, to top White House communication rules. President-elect Donald Trump appointed Stephen Cheong as a White House communication director and Caroline Levitt as a press secretary. Cheong, a staunch Trump defender, previously served as Director of Strategic Response during Trump's first term and handled communications for the 2024 campaign. Levet, a former Assistant Press Secretary and New Hampshire GOP candidate, gained recognition as a strong campaign spokesperson. Both assume roles with a history of a high turnover during Trump's first administration. Trump also announced Sergio Gore as assistant to the president and director of presidential personnel. Trump praised their loyalty and effectiveness, expressing confidence in their abilities to champion his agenda. Entertainment news. From Christmas content to a crime thriller, here's what to watch this weekend. Disney Plus presents An Almost Christmas Story, an animated film about an owl and a girl discovering Christmas magic. On Prime Video, Aldous Hodge stars in Cross, based on James Patterson crime novels. HBO Max debut Dune, Pro The Prophecy, a prequel exploring the sisterhood of Dune's origins. Paramount Plus premieres Taylor Sheridan's Landman with Billy Bobby Thornton as a West Texas oil industry manager. Finally, Red One starring Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans offers an action-packed holiday adventure now streaming on Prime Video. Plenty of options for all moods this season. Hugh Grant thinks his Notting Hill character was despicable. Actor Hugh Grant has candidly critiqued his performance as William Thacker 
in the 1999 rom-com Notting Hill. Speaking to Vanity Fair, Grant revealed he finds his character despicable, particularly in a scene where William passively allows Anna, played by Julia Roberts, to face paparazzi alone. Grant said he is often questioned by love ones about his character's lack of action, admitting he has no defense. Knowing for his romantic leads, uh, Grant has long been self-critical, previously telling the Hollywood reporter he struggles while watching himself on screen. Despite his harsh self-assessment, Notting Hill remains a beloved classic among fans. Sports news. Philadelphia Eagles pull away in a fourth to defeat Washington Commanders extend win streak to six. The Philadelphia Eagles triumphed over the Washington Commanders 26 to, to 18 on Thursday night, extending their winning streak to six games. Saquon Barkley dominated with 146 rushing yards and two fourth fourth quarter touchdowns helping the Eagles secure first place in the NFC East. Despite early injury scare for quarterback Jalen Hurts, he returned in the second half contributing a touchdown pass and 39 rushing yards. The game's turning point came on a fourth quarter defensive stop following by Barkley's explosive 23 yards touchdown run. Washington rookie Jaden Daniels threw for 191 yards and a late touchdown, but the Commanders fell short, losing consecutive games. Mike Tyson returns to professional boxing 19 years after his last bout. There are neurological con concerns for the 58 years old. Mike Tyson returns to professional boxing at 58 facing 27-year-old YouTuber Jake Paul on Friday at AT&T Stadium, 19 years after his last fight. Tyson's career is legendary but fraught with health risk. Especially now, experts warn for neurological dangers from repeated head impacts, which increase with age. Fighters over 40 face higher risk of concussions and long-term conditions like CTE and Parkinson's symptoms. Despite safety advancements, boxing remains controversial due to its inherited brutality, yet its explosive nature of capt captivates fans. Tyson's comeback is both thrilling and concerning, spotlighting the delicate balance between the sport's allure and its health implications. Featured stories, vibrant paroles light up the season in San Fernando. The city of San Fernando, Pampanga, heralded as the Christmas capital of the Philippines, is dressing once again with the Giant Lantern Festival. This beloved tradition running for decades featuring intricately designed paroles, with each lantern measuring up to 20 feet and lit by a thousand of colorful bulbs. Tourists from the across the country flock to witness the vibrant displays, symbolizing Filipino creativity and resilience. The event celebrates community spirit and barangays comp compete to showcase the most spectacular designs. With Year's Festival brings a renewed sense of joy and hope, capturing the true essence of Filipino Christmas season. New York hosts a record-breaking marathon. The New York City Marathon drew global attention as over 50,000 runners crossed the finish line, marking one of the event's largest turnouts in history. Athletes from the diverse backgrounds including Olympians and first-time participants tackled a growling 26.2-mile course through the city's five borough. Kenya runner Kelvin Kipton shattered the men's world record finishing in an astonishing, uh, astounding 2 hours and 35 seconds. 
Meanwhile, the marathon highlights the inspira inspiring stories of persever uh, perseverance and with many runners participating for charities and personal causes. The event not only showcases athletic excellence but also celebrates the unifying spirit of sports, drawing cheers from millions worldwide. <music> Trivia. The Philippines has over 7,641 islands. The Philippines is an archipelago made up of 7,641 islands, with only about 2,000 of them inhabited. The islands are divided into three main geographical regions like Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Interestingly, during the low tide, some smaller islands and sandbars appear which may not be visible in higher tide. With its vast number of islands, the country um, boasts over 36,000 kilometers of coastline, making it one of the longest in the world. This unique ge geography contributes to the Philippines' rich biodiversity and stunning natural attractions, from white sand beaches to vibrant coral reefs and lush mountain ranges. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, this is your newscaster, Elijah Hilcacho. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Good morning, Davao. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community.